Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. It's nice and sunny out today. But cold. Today's Friday, November 18th. Currently it's 30 degrees. It must have been cooler than that overnight even. Uh, high 45 today. No chance of rain. Humidity is 74%. Wind is at 3 mile per hour and air quality 75. That's moderate, so that went up a little bit. Um, today, I'll have a fall garden update. I did this a couple days ago. Uh, I was checking for frost damage. And as I look out there this morning, it kind of looks worse than it did the other day when I did the... Uh, the update and I did a walk too. We walked, I walked, I walked for a while. Joy didn't want to walk that day. But um you know it's it's way colder than it normally is this time of year. So the carrots they don't seem bothered by it and most of the turnips. But now you know it killed the uh radishes and stuff you'll see in the video. Um and usually greens, I don't know. I thought they last, did a little better than that last year. I think it's because last year I had the greens in the one up against the house here. And I think the, you know, the wall of the house uh, helps protect it some, you know, from that. I don't know. It's got the awning a little bit over there and everything. So it just seems like things do a little better against the house. I should have gone ahead and planted, you know, thinking on it now, I should have pulled up the stuff earlier over on this little end over here and put the radishes there. Yeah, you know, I think they would have done a little bit better. But, you know, it doesn't matter. If it gets cold enough, it's going to kill everything eventually. Um, but, you know, I've had, I've had turnips out there in February before. Still. That, that were, you know, fine. Um, it's just, we have milder winters. Uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping it's not going to be really, really awful winter. Uh, if this is an indication, it might be then. But, um, I'm not going to cover it up every night, you know, because that's what I would have had to do, and that is too aggravating for what, what you're going to get out of it. You know, just too aggravating. So, you know, I've had a great year. If, if whatever survives, survives. And everything. Okay. Um, so, what's for dinner? We had turkey. I, I was looking uh, for something to fix yesterday. Or no, day before yesterday. And I was going to fix um, that jambalaya with the smoked sausage but I, I was having trouble finding it because you know it's you know it's, it's not very big and it's probably underneath a bunch of stuff in the big one I'll, I'll find it I'll probably have to find it today for tomorrow um, but I found that um, you know when we went to Walmart we got one of those great value it's turkey and dressing bake I think is what it said on it and if you haven't ever had one of those they're really good they're good. They used to be five ninety nine, and then something when the pandemic started, for some reason, almost all of them went up to nine ninety nine. It's enough for I'd say it's enough for four people. You might be able to stretch it into five, but I doubt it, uh, unless you didn't have much. But um, you know, they went up to nine ninety nine, and when they did that, I said. No, we don't want them for that. And then they, then they finally went back down some to seven ninety seven, I believe is what it was. And it's it's worth that. It is. It's really good. Um, we had that and green beans and applesauce. And I put cinnamon, and, cinnamon and sugar on, on mine. Yes, I know it's unsweetened applesauce, but I put a little bit of cinnamon and sugar on my applesauce but it got a little burnt there but that's the stuffing that's burnt 
a little. It was really good, y'all. Try it out. There's plenty of turkey in there, too. It's not just the one piece or two pieces. <laughs> you know, it's chunks of turkey in it. It's, it's definitely uh, worth the price. And we watched a movie last night. Well, I mean, let me finish this. Tonight, what's for dinner? Uh, we're going to have, if we stick to our plan, we're going to have some country ham. I've got some sugar-cured country ham and hash browns. And I don't know if she wants to have that, finally have the, the breakfast for dinner. We, with that, we could fix some eggs or something with that, you know. Uh, so I'm not for sure what else we'll have, but country ham and hash browns. And I want to show you this. I want to talk about this one movie for a second. Well, we did a uh, drive with us. It was such a nice day for, for a change. It was in like f three or four days. It had been so dreary. We did a drive with us and we went to Redbox. And you'll see in it, uh, Joy was trying to find this movie, what well, said it was in, uh, Gigi and Nate. And um, when, she, when she pressed it, it ended up giving us this Guardians of Time which I know now is more like a, chill, a kid's movie. Um, but it wasn't all that bad. But anyway, she called. It, we There was two two red boxes there. The, the one on the left gave us the wrong, gave her the wrong movie. So she did the one on the right, and she got the Gigi and Nate. But, um, yeah, this one is, is, is okay, um, but it's more for kids. It's kids in the movie, like, you know. Um, but it was okay. It, they're they're giving they're refunding our money on this. She she called them. She was very upset. <laughs> I don't blame her. <coughs> but this is the one that we wanted, and it's got James Belushi in it. And I don't know who all the names of the other people that's in it, but it's got a good cast. And um, uh, I don't want to you know go over the whole movie, but the what happens, something happens, this guy gets, something happens to him, their son, and he ends up being a paraplegic. And um, they go uh, to get him like a rescue animal, you know, and he ends up with this monkey, this little monkey. And, um, you know, uh, it's, it makes you aware of, uh, you know, people with physical uh, disabilities and stuff because there's a lot of other people you know in it that have have problems too at these at the center he goes to and um he gets this little monkey and then there's you know it's just amazing and uh then they start having problems with these like um this like animal rights or lady and she starts giving having giving them problems for having this monkey and there's this big thing about it, and I don't want to give too much of it away, but you know things happen. And anyway, but um, uh, it's just a real, it's a real good, uh, good movie. It's not just, you know, it's not like a, a action movie where there's just shooting going on and all this and that, you know. But this here, uh, it's, it makes you feel good. This movie does. Let's put it that way. And it's just so touching. This little. This little monkey is just amazing to watch it, but I would I would definitely, um, t uh, you know, say try this movie. If you can't, you know, if you don't have a red box or you don't know how to do red box, see if you can find it uh, streaming somewhere or something like that. And I, it's probably out to buy too, but um, you know, I really, uh, I really do approve of this movie so I give this five stars out of five for Mike's movie reviews um, I don't think the other side has any picture let's see if the others I don't think it does it's just no it's just the plain thing but I wish I had um, I'll try to find something on it but I don't have much time to do that this morning so I probably can't I'd like to have had a picture of it to where I could use that for my thumbnail I'll see if I can do that real quick I don't know if Logan's awake. Maybe I can get him to help me. He would probably be able to. But if not, anyway, if I don't have a thumbnail for it, definitely maybe I could 
hold on, I'll take a picture with this. Okay, yeah, I don't know what, what it was rated. Does it say on this? Let me get my glasses. Um, uh, you know, I think that, I think just about anybody though could watch this, but I don't think, know if they have the rating. It's rated PG-13, so I believe, you know, it would be good to watch. So, let's see, let's, let's check out, um, today's tidbits. I've got two of them, and I've, I've got this Kim Loves Artie. Uh, Kim sent a, a prayer request, which will be in tomorrow morning's early morning prayer request and devotions for the people in Buffalo. Uh, it also says Western New York here. But it says potentially dangerous storm moves into Buffalo, Western New York. New York Governor Kathy Hochul declared a state of emergency Thursday for part of Western New York ahead of a dangerous storm. The worst snowfall from the storm was expected in Buffalo, where up to four feet might fall in some spots through Sunday, with periods of near zero visibility. Administrator cancels Friday class, canceled Friday classes for students in Buffalo. So, uh, pray for these people in this area, and um, you know we'll have it on the prayer list, and for also for the um, plow drivers, the snow plow drivers, that's going to be up there. Uh, you know, put in, put in their lives in danger, basically trying to clean this mess up when it happens. So, and this is a, what is a thunder snow and how does it occur? They didn't have everything today and in, in, uh, in my t today's tidbits, everything today was about snow and cold weather. Pretty much almost, almost every single bit of it. Uh, Thunder snow occurs during winter when a weather system that produces rain also generates snow. Warm air rising up against a dome of cold air causes lightning to occur. Frozen water droplets accumulated in a cloud can generate an electrical charge, lightning. This lightning strike rapidly heats the air. This rapid expansion also causes thunder. So that's the only two I could find that would be, you know, uh, unless I was just telling a weather report of the whole country, <laughs> basically is what it is. But uh, it says like it said like 295 million people are under uh, severely cold weather or you know uh, some type of cold you know uh, snow or everything going on really right now with most of the country. It has to be most of the country to affect that many people. Okay, nice news. It's funny, I was talking about rescue animals. And uh, this is not exactly a rescue animal, but it's, a, it's about pets. How animals can help develop kindness and empathy in children. Are you one to stop and smile at every dog that walks by you on the sidewalk? Does the sound of birds chirping give you a warm and fuzzy feeling? Scientists have long observed that humans have an innate connection to nature and other living beings, and studies suggest that interaction with our furry friends can benefit both our mental and physical health. The street cleaners out there today, I can hear it. Uh, but they may do more than just make us happy. Particularly in children, animals have the potential to increase kindness and empathy. According to the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, a good relationship with a pet can also help in developing nonverbal communication, compassion, and empathy. In an article published by National Geographic this month, psychologist Hilary Kratz expounded upon the subject Humans are complex, so their behaviors can have many layers, she said. But when kids see an animal do something, it simplifies things in a way that's more accessible. If a dog can do this, I can do this. Keep dreaming, keep achieving how former refugee Alfonso Davies made it to the World Cup. 
Alfonso Davies is set to play for Canada in the 2022 F FIFA World Cup, kicking off Sunday in Qatar, Q-A-T-A-R. But it hasn't been an easy road for the footballer or soccer player, as we say in the U.S. Davies was born in a Ghanaian refugee camp after his parents fled civil war in Liberia. His family immigrated to Canada when he was five, and he went on to achieve record first in his sport. At age 16, he was the youngest athlete to play on the senior national team. Three years later, Davies became the first Canadian to win the men's champions league and the first North American to be voted onto the Fife Pro World 11 by his peers. And now he's headed to soccer's biggest stage. A kid born in a refugee camp wasn't supposed to make it. But here we are going to the World Cup, Davies, now 22, recently shared on Twitter. Don't let no one tell you that your dreams are unrealistic. Keep dreaming, keep achieving. Iraq's date palms, a national symbol, thrive again thanks to Adopt-A-Palm program. Oh, look at those. That's interesting. Yeah, that. if you hear that noise, that's a street cleaner. They're probably sucking leaves up into that vacuum thing. It's loud. Iraq previously led the world in the production of dates. The sticky, sweet, dried fruit that tastes just as good blended into a smoothie as it does enjoyed on its own, perhaps with a cup of coffee. But decades of war devastated the date palms that serve as one of the country's national symbols. So Labib Kassif al Gida set out to help revive the palms four years ago. He started with 20 trees and has since grown his enterprise to include 12,000. Thanks to an innovative Adopt a, Adopt a Palm program through the agricultural tech firm Nakla, subscribers pay an annual subscription per tree and the company then cares for the plants and harvests their fruit. Once sold, the palm owners receive some of the profits. And Al Gida isn't stopping at 12,000. He wants everyone to enjoy dates daily, as he does, and restore Iraq's place in global production of the crop. Next year, 50,000, he told Positive News. We're aiming to have a million trees and become one of the biggest date producers in the world. Yeah. That's neat. Okay, let's see. The quote of the day comes from Charlotte Bront. Bronte, there is no happiness like that of being loved by your fellow creatures and feeling that your presence is an addition to their comfort. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this morning's coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great day and check out my fall garden update, checking for frost damage and let's take a walk later on today. So thanks again, everybody and have a great day and God bless.